Hey everybody and welcome back to this uh, very first video tutorial from me, Shaq Rudin. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to set up Minecraft Forge uh, for version 1.6.2. Um, I did a video already on upgrading your mod from 1.5.2 to 1.6. From 1.5. whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, from 1.5.2 to 1.6.1. So you're good there. But now I'm gonna start, we're gonna start fresh. We're gonna create a little uh, tutorial project here and we're gonna do all the good stuff. So first off, what we're gonna need is Minecraft Forge, of course. I already got it downloaded here on my desktop right there. But we're just gonna, I'm just gonna drag this in. So you wanna down, so you, we got a bunch of options here. We got 1.6.1, 1.5.2, 1.6.2, and all these, other, all these different things. So uh, what we're gonna do to make sure that we're getting the right version uh, we're going to click this little drop down here and click 1.6.2 and that's going to give you the latest build of 1.6 uh, so this may be 1.6.3 when you see this video you never know but uh, for the 1.6 series or the 1.6 versions of minecraft or well, the 1.6.x versions of minecraft this process will be all the same um, and uh, uh, and unless otherwise noted, I will put up a video if things change. So as long as you don't see another video with it updated, then it's all the same. So let's go. Let's go download. So you're going to go download the source. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you to AdFly, and you're going to download it. Uh, for for this, just drag it to your desktop. So it's nice, clear, clean. You know, it's right in the. It's out in the open, uncluttered, and all that good stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to extract that. It's going to give us a folder, so let's just chuck this over here. Actually, I'll just chuck it on my other display. So we got this folder called Forge. So in this folder, we're going to open this up, and uh, we're going to open up Terminal. And now this is where it's going to start to varying on Mac and PC. So on uh, PC or Windows, what you're going to do is you're going to double-click install.cmd, and it will start the install process uh, of getting everything set up for you. Uh, but for Mac, we got to go into Terminal. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna drag this over here. You want to go? So if you're using, I think at least Lion. So I'm using Mountain Lion right now. But if you go, if you if you're using Lion, at least Lion. I'm not sure if this works in Snow Leopard or not. You should just be able to click and drag this little folder up here. Click and drag into um, your uh, Terminal window. You know, put in your path to this folder that has forge in it because we need to go right into this folder or you can just type it in slash users slash your username slash desktop slash forge or wherever you have it located just put it in in the same spot and uh but if you do or you, you can also do it this way i'll show it to you this way as well so you can also if you have the folder like the, if you can see the folder you can just click and drag the folder in there as well and it'll do the same thing you can use either one of those ways, just get to the folder using the change directory or cd command. Now that we're in here, we're just going to type in sh install dot sh. What that's going to do is it's going to run the Ford, Forge mod loader setup. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to download a bunch of stuff for us. Now, I already went through this in, in my other video, but I'm going to go through it again since we're starting fresh from a brand new project. And we're going to do this. I'm just going to let that complete itself. Now, uh, one more thing I'll mention. While this is going, uh, you can download um, download uh, a basic version or like um, download the default texture, the default resource pack, sorry, the default resource pack for Minecraft while this is downloading and then you'll ju and then just have it ready. We won't be needing it at the moment, but we will be needing it in the future. So just while you're waiting for this to finish, you might as well go do that to save yourself some time. So we'll come back to this video when this is finished. Uh, it's I'm not going to skip anything. I'm not going to close the window yet. I'm just going to let it's just going to finish and then I'll come back and start. So I'll see you guys when it's finished. <laughs> All right. So we're back. It is finished. It is done. 
Um, it just finished installing, so that's good. It's all, we're pretty much ready. We're pretty much all set up by now. So all we got to do now is set up Eclipse, and then we are ready to go. And then in the next video, we're going to start actually working on some code and getting down and dirty with all that. So that's fantastic. So on Windows, it'll be telling you to press any key to close. You can press any key to close it. Mac, Command Q to quit terminal, and you're done. That's all you got to do there. So now we got this folder. We got MCP in here. We got all this stuff. Now, I told you to download the resource pack. Mine's right here on my desktop. So there you go. A link is in, in the description. I'm not sure if I remember to say it, uh, but I will definitely put an, an annotation there that, yes, download is in the description. You can um, uh, download that. And, uh, yeah, so now that we're done, <laughs> we're done with this for now. We don't, need to go, we don't need to go into this folder for now. We're going to open up Eclipse, and if you don't have Eclipse, then you want to Google search, or you want to go to Eclipse.org, which is this website right here. And then you want to go to, so they, they just released another version. So you can go to download, downloads, and you can tie it and you can uh, get version 4.3. You want to get uh, Eclipse IDE with four Java EE developers. That's what you want. So download that and install it on Mac. You're going to get a folder. You're going to click that folder or you're going to, you're going to drag that folder into your applications. Windows, I think it's just like in a normal installer, and then you're good to go. So we're going to close that window. Now we're going to open up Eclipse. I'm using an older version at the moment, but in the next video, I will be using an updated version. <laughs> so when you first launch it, uh, it's going to, well, e each time you launch it, unless you have this here clicked, this uh, use this as a default, and do not ask again, it's going to ask you to set up your workspace or to select your workspace. So I recommend not checking that and just leaving it like this. So you can, so if you want to change the pro change to a different project, you can easily do that. Um, so just click on browse, go to you, go to your desktop or wherever you located your, wherever you put your forge that we've uh, installed. Double click on forge, double click on MCP, and double click on Eclipse, and click open. And then if you click OK, it's going to load it up. It's going to build the works. It's going to build the workspace, and we're going to get a nice little uh, window here in just a second. <laughs> now I know if you look at the time on my computer, it's been taking me a lot longer to get because it took me. It took almost like forty minutes to get the MCP uh, to get it set up, but it should only take about fifteen minutes for you. It, Mainly, it was just downloading the stuff that took a long time. So, um, for you guys, you should be able to have it done within 15, 20 minutes. Should be good. Beach ball of death. <laughs> so I'll let that do its thing. There we go. So, I'm going to full screen this. So, now we got... This is our this is our Java EE environment. We're going to twirl down this little uh, arrow here. Now, it's going to tell you that we have, like... We have four four warnings and fourteen others. You don't have to worry about that. Just you know, for, don't even th don't even look at it. It's fine. Uh, click on you want to click the twirly on source. Now this is basically a list of all the different packages that are that are in Minecraft that are going to help you build everything that you need, like for entities and items and blocks and networking and all this other good stuff. So what we're going to do. We're going to create our package, and then we're going to go from there. So we're going to right-click on our source directory. We're going to go New Package, and we're going to call this Let's Make um, um, Redst Redstone Tools. Why not? So we're just going to, I'm just going to name this package Redstone uh, not redstone tut. That's, no, let's do let's do glowstone. Actually, I, I want to make stuff. So yeah, let's go redstone. <laughs> redstone, t redstone, tutorial. Uh, so name, name it whatever you want. You don't have to go with this, but if you want to follow exactly, at least get the gist of it, then just call it redstone tutorial. I'm gonna make that lowercase s. There we go, and click finish. 
So now we're gonna have this little pro we're gonna have this little uh, thing right here. Um, it's gonna have it's it's gonna have like a little, like uh, some white squares, and compare and you can see all the others are like brown and yellow. The reason for that is because we don't have any classes in this yet. So we're gonna go go ahead and create our first class. We're gonna right click on our package, click new, and go to class. Now it's gonna ask us for a class name. So what we're gonna call this. Uh, we're going to call this Redstone Redstone Main. Okay, and then click Finish. Now we got our class and we're all ready to go. Um, but that's where we're going to end this video. And I will see you guys next time, probably tomorrow, maybe the next day, depending on... I'm, not, I'm out of town. <laughs> I'm going to be out of town tomorrow. I'm not going to be at home, so I'm not going to be sure how Internet's going to be working uh, where I'm going as far as speed-wise. I know I have it, so I'll be able to get videos up at some point. I'm just not sure exactly how long it's going to take me to get a video up. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time uh, for another Forge video tutorial. We're going to go through items. All right, so I'll see you guys then.